everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am back with some more of the quarry. Um, I have recovered from my distraught that was brought on by the last episode <laughs> and I have decided to move forward and that everything is gonna be okay. So uh, yeah, let's let's try not to kill the rest of our uh, our people. So you know, <laughs> I still have people left that I should uh, take care of. And now I know, you know, um, don't fuck with fate and uh, just kill the fucking demon guy when you have the chance, or monster guy when you have the chance. So. The fuck is a man? Fighting, because <clears throat> as you know, there is a very scary creature. <sighs> I would maybe try to get back to the cabins. I'm just saying. I feel like that's okay. going to be your, you know, so, safe place. If I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... the lodge you it really took you that long to think <laughs> I feel like that was the obvious answer Emma maybe I was wrong maybe that's not the obvious answer maybe I don't know hmm. uh, Nine stories again I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff we officially suck as counselors I mean... <sighs> yeah, telling scary stories to kids might be a bit much. I'm an adult and I don't always like scary stories. Depends on the scary story. <laughs> if it's something that I already have, like, anxiety about, it's like... It's not good. It, like, makes me more anxious. If it's something that I don't really have too much anxiety about, then, like, I kind of enjoy scary stories. Um, it's just very dependent. I, like, want to go exploring to make sure I don't miss anything, you know, useful, but I'm afraid of exploring. I could go that way, but I think... God, I don't know where the lodge is at. I'm just gonna keep walking straight, right? Because I'm gonna keep going straight ahead, I guess. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, I saw that, I fucking saw that. I saw that over there. I saw it. Trust me, I fucking saw it. Like, I, I, I saw that thing moving. Oh, please don't tell me that's fucking, um, Nick. I have a feeling I'm gonna run back into him again. You know, it's one of those things, like, if you don't shoot him, like, it not only kills Abigail, but it probably is gonna come back and bite me in the fucking ass later. So, I'm, you know, totally ready for that. Also ready for some spicy-ass quick times coming up here soon. Um, stay tuned for all of the spicy quick times. Um, they're a coming and they're gonna be a rolling in fast. I'm totally expecting one of these times when I like swivel around for there just to be like a fucking monster like directly behind me and I'm like, Emma, turn around! Look, Emma! Right in front of your face, there is a monster! So pay attention! Oh god, there's a fork in the road. Well, that path looks blocked. So I guess I'm going this way. Because obviously if the path is like blocked by trees, it's probably not the right path. I mean, it might be, but... Fuck if I know. Wait, wait, that's a building. Ooh, victory is mine! Uh, I'd run, though. No, don't you? We cut you and you, you know all. Oh, they got him. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one though. <gasps> I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. Oh, there's another one watching. Oh god, and it sees me. Do I run? Do I run? Do I run? No, I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run. Damn. Damn these fucking kids. Oh, is that Nick, Son, maybe? What? It has pants on. I'm pretty sure I saw that monster has pants on. Ah. Ah. <sighs> oh, shit. No, Hi. Stop. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh. Are we gonna get some explanation now on who the fuck these guys are? I don't know if they were shooting at me there. They might have been shooting at the monster. Maybe they were Caitlin! shooting at me. I guess I don't know. Ryan! Abby! This doesn't feel safe. Yeah, uh, you don't say. I think this whole forest right now doesn't feel safe. I don't feel safe anywhere in this damn forest. Hmm. Abby? Yep, okay. Ryan? Abby is dead. And Nick is a monster. And uh, I'm really worried about you, Emma. I don't know where Jacob is. I forget the last time we checked in with Jacob. It's been like a hot second. I'd assume he's like not dead, but I don't know. Oh no. Oh. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a jump scare. I mean, I guess the car is like a safe bet. You can kind of see everything around you and like just lock the doors. Whereas like a place like the lodge, there's like a lot more places where people can sneak in and stuff, I guess. Okay, Emma made a good choice. I'm gonna say it. Good decision. Oh no, it's the consequences of my own inaction. <laughs> Classic. Um, we just gotta focus. We, we just gotta focus. We, we can still get out of this alive together, okay? Well, not all of us. Well, thanks, Dylan. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Now's not the time to be a smart ass. <laughs> Then again, everybody does deal with trauma in a different way, so maybe this is just Dylan's way of dealing with trauma is through laughter and jokes. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who the fuck? Afraid go away. Who is it? Who's there? I need your help. Please. I don't think it's any of our characters. You? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, wait, wasn't that the, the girl from the beginning? Office, right? and you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her, inside. You know what, I'm gonna trust it. Maybe, maybe she knows something because we didn't actually see her die at the beginning. We saw her get drugged by the one dude and pulled off. Maybe she has some information on like what these monsters are or like maybe like what the, the hunters want. Okay. I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Put them up there! Sup, bro? You, uh, you have an eye patch.
Hey. Here we are again. Just so good. You and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? I don't know if I found any. Oh, I did find one. Let's go. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights. To harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. I'm not cunning and I'm not smart and I don't now plan tell ahead. Me, would you like to delve deeper oh, into no. one of many possible futures? Yes, absolutely. 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 A lot to unpack there. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? One down? What do you mean, like people? We have, we have two people down now. Okay. Uh, I kind of. Chapter seven: The past behind so, us. So. Uh... Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to go to the moon. Um, I want to replay this. Okay. It's the police officer guy. We stab him. Lock him in. Okay, so I'm going to want to look for a cabinet that has a needle in it. Where have you been for the past two months? I don't know if that's like the good future or not, but... You know. One night early. That was our mistake. All right, let's hear your story. I hope you have some good, good information for me. Some beautiful, fantastic information. Oh wait, we're jumping back in time. Oh my god. Oh, I think this is the scene where I need that, actually need that needle. stay silent I think I don't know if I want him to know that I'm here and alive or at least awake I should say I mean obviously he knows I'm here but I don't want him to know that I'm like awake maybe god that motherfucker you motherfucker I see you Okay, well, now he knows I'm awake anyways. This is gonna get a little messy. What? What's gonna get messy? What's going on? I demand answers as to why you are holding me captive. I think it's just a courtesy if you're holding someone captive to, you know, be polite and let them know why you're holding them captive. just turned into a monster. Okie, okie. Stop, bro. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just shut up. You shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Uh, eat shit. I really want to tell him to eat shit. 
But if I'm compliant, maybe I'll get information if I'm like, you know, all nice. I'll be compliant for now. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Now I'm gonna be angry. Well, I'm not saying shit until you tell me where Max is. He said so. Yeah. You can't keep us here. I know what this is. This is an illegal detainment. They are waiting for us at Hackett's Quarry, and pretty soon they're gonna figure out we're missing. I want a lawyer. You finished? This guy's so creepy. What the fuck? That shit's bad as doesn't mean. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait. Hack it? Like, Chris Hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have is no that like his brother? On here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Yeah, please. I would like some fucking information. Is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Maybe going crazy might be a little bit easier than uh, finding out what the fuck is actually going on. because. Maybe he's gonna tell me what's going on if I don't. I don't know. Let's go. I like don't want to piss him off too much because I want him to tell me information. Hey. Oh wait, did he not? Hey, you asshole! You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max. I know you hear me. So wait, I guess that didn't happen. I'm confused. I thought he I thought he turned Max. into a monster. Did we go back further in time? I kinda okay? missed it. I should have been paying attention to the time. Yeah. I think we did. I mean I'm I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. Oh, he did turn... Did they turn him back? I mean, what the fuck happened? Wanted me to confess. I was hoping you'd know. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but... None of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like Did you turn were people we back? Drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? I mean Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and Damn it. So Max turned, but then now he's back. 
So do they have some sort of antidote for it? And they're not like hunting them, they're Get just dressed. like... What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. God damn it, Max. <laughs> Not very smooth, my guy. Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Just gonna calm down. Uh, I don't want him to get himself killed. Laura. Oh, I get the feeling that he is gonna die because he's not with Laura in the future, the so... Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Uh, interesting, okay. So I thought Max turned, but I guess he either I'll didn't or Marshall he did because there's blood on the wall still. The hag in the woods started weeping. And As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Wait, what? Wait, what? Say that again? I want to see it. What does it say? Okay, I guess it's not going to say what it actually says again. That did sound like that was talking though about like monsters and like, Let's see here. Well, the town of North Kill lay sleeping. The hag in the woods started weeping. The bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey and the sheriff continues his creeping. Okay, interesting. Ah! It's a bent spoon. Ew, spoon? A spoon? Oh my god, a spoon. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we could probably use that for something, I'm sure. What's, uh, what's over here, though? Sis. Oh, that's like, uh, we should take that brick out. Not a chance. Use the spoon! I need some sort of lever. The spoon! Use the spoon. Use the spoon. <laughs> that could work. I got you. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Yeah, just pry that puppy out. Ooh, I don't want to stick my hand in there. Could be spiders, or snakes, or ghosts. I don't know. There could be all sorts of, like, kind of crazy shit there. The sheriff is back. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Wait, 
Wait, well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Man, I just don't know. Hey, I man, just, just leave us in here. I Hi. just want to know what's going on, man. Come back! Damn it! Tell me what what the fuck is going on? Hmm? Fuck! Son of a binky bonky. Son of a binky bonky. I'm using that from now on. She can be like mother binky bonky. <laughs> Are you okay? How did it go? Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, <laughs> Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. <laughs> Fucking rude, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? <laughs> it's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. I Who's guess the he's Chris like Hackett? Chris's brother or something. As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Did he like lose his memory or something? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, wait a second, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, suspicious, some kind of setup, he's not acting like a kidnapper. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. Yeah, I'd love I to know. know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Purging this isn't forever for should lighten up. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? Well, I already knew about the grad school I saw thing. the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! Have you been making
making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. Maybe sorry I lied to. Just be empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong there. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Yeah, yeah, because remember you like went off the road, the and then there was like... Weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember woman that? woman that was like, was like you already knew or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's, like... Nobody else around. Not a bad point. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by... Something. And then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Yep, yep, Ian, yep. Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, it wasn't a bear. Bears are like. Yeah, it really did a number fatter. on you. Like, I'm you ever seen a hairless bear? I think I brought this up before, like, like, but I vividly remember hairless bears are fucking weird. <laughs> what is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Yeah. What? Hey. Okay. So weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost. Well, yeah, but before that, I not was the time, like, Laura. Not the time. Whoa! Look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so... Werewolves. Know, full moon. Yeah. What if... Uh... Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance... It was a werewolf. So then, would that Are make him a werewolf? Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? So then, would that make Max a what, werewolf, what, what, then? What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? That would be an interesting concept. I see where you're going here. Um, call me want answers. Aggressive. Ryan, shut the fuck up. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want, you answers? want answers? I've got answers. Ryan. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. Oh, shit. Laura Land Laura. at the law of the land. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick... With a thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. I don't think there is, dude. Like, you okay, saw it with you your own fucking eyes. Talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> I love Dylan.
There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Yes, sir. The next few weeks were long. All right, but with that being said, I'm actually gonna stop this episode right here. We're slowly gathering more information, which is good. Um, what a twist. I didn't really realize that she was gonna come back into it. I just assumed we were gonna like, you know, figure shit out on our own, but I mean, she's coming back into it and maybe we'll finally get some answers to all of our questions. We'll see. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.